fucking shitty, shitty fucking fedora and go eat a dick. So apparently, last night, Jim and Am decided to. Uh, I might be able to bring it up because I think he might have actually still left. He deleted it off of YouTube, but I think it's still up on Periscope. I'll see how things go. Um, it's long as, dude, it's hard to wave through a fucking eight hour live stream that gets less than 500 views. I gotta tell you that. That, that is a hard process to try and get through. But, so I guess Jim and Am came up with the idea to do a, a live stream last night entitled Happiest 31st Birthday to Goddess Osaku. Now, apparently, this is some, cam chick and um they had a falling out and a huge fight um he i guess doxed her and then she gave according to him his kids names to gonzo or whatever but that was all months ago so out of nowhere he decides to do a stream tonight i guess on her birthday saying happy birthday to her and using her name and shit and doxing her. Well, this was the last straw for his cam girls. As you know, Jim and Am has many cam girls on um, <laughs> his show there. Quotation show. We'll, we'll put show in quotation. So, now it seems it was all headed off by one name, um, that I see radio reports, video calling out Broke Bar. Broke Bar uses cam girls? No, he doesn't. Broke Bar is about to be a cam girl. The oh, fuck? <laughs> for dudes. About to be a cam boy for dudes. <laughs> hey, <it's right. laughs> so, um, Jessica Jade has a problem with this. And she put on Twitter. Now, I saw the tweet before I knew anything. I saw the tweet madly because uh, she follows me on Twitter and I follow her. And uh, she just put, all I all I saw was, um, it's going to be a doxing party. Then I click on it, it's this chick, Audrey, who, I guess another cam chick over there, who, who had me blocked, but has now since unblocked me, I guess, out of nowhere. I wonder what that's about. <clears throat> um, and she was saying, happy birthday to this goddess Osaka chick. But the problem is, I guess Audrey didn't know that they'd beefed and Jim and Ann was doing another doxing trashing session of her. And uh, Jessica Jade took a problem. And um, Tara and all the cam girls took Jessica Jade's side. Now, their main complaint against Jim and Ann is, um, why are you doing the show doxing? Now, he came up with an excuse, which is a lie. He tried saying... Someone just requested this, and that's why I made it. No, no one requested it. No one remembers who Prince Goddess Osaka is. No one said it's her birthday. Let's dox her to. No, Jim or Scam came up with it. So um, he comes up with this title, and um, he finally gets called out by these cam girls, by the way. Now, you have to understand, these cam girls have been perfectly okay with everything he's done. Doxing people, calling people's moms. But he did something, and that crossed the line. He fucked with another cam chick. And I guess this cam girl community is fucking tight-knit or some shit. These bitches are fucking holding hands like they're playing Red Rover. And uh, they called Jim and Am over, and he couldn't break through that line. I was sort of surprised how much, what's her name, Tara, stuck with Jessica Jade. And I can also tell this was a building thing. Son tells me, reading behind it, um, this th just didn't happen out of nowhere. Because during this whole eight-hour fucking live stream, um, they got through a bunch of stuff. And apparently, Jessica's been nagging. And according to Tara, the other cam girls have been nagging for quite a while. And the reason why they've been nagging is... Tara revealed they don't get paid, which I we all knew they don't. Jim and Am doesn't get paid, um, so they didn't get paid. But Tara revealed she hasn't made one dollar off of being 
on Jim and Am's streams, doing his shows, doing his eight-hour live streams that got less than 500 views, hasn't made a buck. None of them have. They did. They tried doing that show what twice? Girls' Night Out. I think each video has less than 200 views. I think they dawned on them that this dude gets no views. Now you have to remember when these um, cam girls first started fucking around with this dude. He didn't have that many subs, but he had Hansy, he had High Pitch Eric, and other Howard, like people actually on the Howard Stern show. So I think they thought this dude was legit. But then, of course, Jim Renan turns on everybody because he has no content or nothing to talk about. So he had to keep manufacturing drama amongst the people around him. So if, I think it finally started dawning on him. We're doing eight-hour live streams and not even getting 500 views. So that plus in the doxing thing. Now, to give that, they went through this whole battle for Mad Long. I'm going to play a little bit, a little bit of it soon. Uh, there's one particular timestamp that I think I can bring up that brings up perfectly what encapsulates the argument. So you can hear them talk about it instead of me because I don't know too much about it. I'm just saying what well, I can fucking uh, grasp my wrap my head around. But um, so they stuck together. Now my point to Jim and Nam would be um, the show's done. They're done. The chicks are done. Now they'll probably I don't know. I don't know. I what Tara's brother is like dead or something. I don't know. Oh, there's Penelope. So they right on cue. You asked about Casey, and now there's uh, Penelope. So apparently her brother's like dead or was in a car accident. I don't fucking know. But so she's been trying to take. Although that happened a while ago, and she's still been doing her eight hour live streams, which makes me like whoa. But um, so she was gonna step away for a little bit anyway. So they all got into the big fight. All the cam girls. He had the cra- that, now that that's the craziest shit. It's not just one cam girl. They all came together and formed some super cam chick, and then they just left his show. And it was a big blow up. Uh, this dude is like in a bad way. Like halfway during his like five hour live, sh- I'll pick up your call a little bit later. Like um, halfway through his five hour live streams. Like, he turns off this part, so you just see, like, the screen, and then he's doing whatever, and it's just the people in the background. It's so weird. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand it, but he's on some weird shit. And my whole point to um, Jim and him is, this was actually a blessing in disguise for you, my nigga. I'm so sincere. <laughs> Oh, unless you're talking to someone else. Um, Hacks Against Black says he is the radio report. The radio report comes in here on his own shit, and he's probably watching, and now he's going to type after you. Um, so my old point is this is actually a blessing in disguise for Jim and Ann. Now, do I – let me break down. Do I believe their reasoning? They came up with a very interesting reason, and I get where they're coming from. Now, they stuck together on some cam girl shit because he was doxing this chick. And um, they were battling back and forth. He keeps, this dude keeps trying to use his kids as some weird human shield. Dude, you're not in your kids' lives. No one cares about your kids. You keep bringing up your kids. No one else is bringing up your kids but you. And the one time your kids kind of got doxed, no one would have known about it if you didn't run and do a stream about it. And yet, I guess on like the Gonzo thing, they had, you know, what? The donation ticker that is kids' names. No one ever saw it knew about it until he came and announced it. And now he uses that as justification to do terrible shit. So it's like they're talking about my kids. I get to blow up a school. It's like what? No. <laughs> like what are you talking about? But so he does doxing and stuff, and he finally did it to a cam chick before these other cam chicks were around. So now they're solidarity around her. Now they did like a whole. They had a whole doxing discussion about it because, I don't know, for some, this shit is so amazing to me. I can't, they're doing six hour live streams, getting less than 500 views 
but they're doxing each other. According to Jim and Am, people are showing up at his house. This chick kitty's like, someone showed up at my house. <coughs> and my whole point to that shit is um, if people are showing up at your house on the internet, you're doing shit to make them show up at your house. You know how many people fucking uh, hate me and hate what I do and trash me? I've never had anyone show up at my house, send anything to my house, threaten me to come to my house. So if you got people showing up to your house, you're doing shit behind the scenes to get them to do that. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make it right. So um, they brought brought up an ex- interesting point about the doxing because his whole point is uh, he gets to dox her because I guess she leaked his kids' names to this Gonzo dude. But the cam girl's point was uh, you can't dox us because. It's very dangerous for us. And Jim and Am goes back 50 times. Oh, I, I get doxxed and shit. But I think um, I think for um, them, I understand their point because you have to understand they're cam girls. So every one of their clients must be mentally insane. Not, no disrespect to them, but it's 2018. You have free porn accessible to you for free. You can watch an Asian chick get fucked by an octopus. Why the hell would you pay some girl just to strip on camera? So the people they're dealing with are insane, and that they're all about safety and that just saying their real names is docking to them. So that's the whole thing. They had a huge fucking fallout over it. And uh, now Jim and Nam doesn't have any more cam girls, which is good. Now Jim and Nam can move on. Now I'm going to give... This was going to be the monkey wrench. Um, this was good for him because what happened to Jim and Am's channel originally was pretty fucked up. Serious, he he doesn't want to be talking to those fucking people on his Discord. He doesn't want to be talking to kids. There's a reason why he's half the time he's zoned out. He turns this off. He's not even on camera for half his stream anymore. It's just the people in the background talking. All this dude wanted to do is just play Howard Stern clips. And react to him. And Sirius XM won't let him do it. But now that he doesn't have these cam girls. Because you have to understand. Um, we're Opie and Anthony fans. And a thing he didn't understand is that. Um, women stink for entertainment purposes. Comedy. Live streams. They're not good. Yeah Penelope. I was out of, I'm trying to. I'm going to play some shit about it. I'm just giving you my best rambling explanation. Um, but, you know... See, proof in point. Penelope fucking everything up like a goddamn hole. <laughs> so, so it's like um, it's like a hole. It's like having a chick on your show. It's like, he does, he's a Howard Stern fan, so he doesn't know we're O&A fans. We know that doesn't work. He thought, Cam Whore, people like to watch them, hear what they got to say. No. Unless they're sh- getting naked, nobody cares. And they're not getting naked. They had those two girls night out things. I think they got, I don't I think one of them didn't even get 100 views. Um, so this is actually a chance for him. My advice for Jim and Am is you got to start, first and foremost, first and foremost, you got to cut down on live streaming. You can't do six-hour live streams, dude. It makes no sense either way. First of all, you don't got shit to talk about for an hour. So you're trying to stretch less than an hour into six hours. You can only ask Kitty how many guys she wants to fuck or I can't even tell the other dudes on the phone. I don't know the dudes. I can't differentiate. Oh, I said that wrong. <laughs> Apart on the phone. Um, you have to pick that up. So that's number one. You're gonna, and plus, logically, it doesn't make sense because like, let's say he um, titled his live stream with an interesting title, but it's six hours long. People would be like, that's an interesting title, but I can't sit through six hours of live streaming to find an interesting part to talk about. That's one. Number two, um, you're going to have to get a, not don't have to get a life, but you're going to have to get into other shit other than Howard Stern. Start watching a TV show. Start um, watching some movies. Get into something else to talk about and then instruct your people to talk about it. Because, like, you mostly do Howard Stern shit. He's mostly on vacation, and if he's not, he's doing three days a week, and he's not interesting anyway. 
Like, you know who's the new Howard Stern is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's the new Howard Stern. So how about this? Do a watch a shit up load of Joe Rogan and talk about that. Now, right now, I can springboard into a fucking hour conversation about Joe Rogan. He just had Candace Owens on. Tomorrow, he's having Roseanne on, and you will be catching clips on my channel. With Roseanne's crazy ass on his podcast. Early I had this Egyptologist on. Like, get like get into something else to talk about, because you just keep trying to expose your lives. And this is Jim Renan's point. I expose my life. You don't have a life. <laughs> like, you... you you don't have a life, and the people on your phones don't have a life. So there's nothing to talk about. So get into another show, television show, whatever. So, and the third piece of advice is this was a good thing. So if you do my first two things, cut down the stream to like three hours a night, find something else to talk about, and don't have cam girls on. Trust me, them broads, did you, they weren't bringing you anything. Now, you weren't bringing them anything, but I suspect you had them on so they could bring you something. But the dudes who pay to see them naked don't want to see them on a show. And the dudes who pay to see them naked are insane because it's 2018 and um, I can go on Pornhub for free and watch whatever and jerk off it's three minutes why would i pay some cam chick just to get naked the people who pay for cam girls i think probably are the most pathetic people in the world they have to be they got to be more pathetic than people who get hookers they're going to be more pathetic yeah that that's bottom of the barrel shit did anyone else want mark lista you know what's, what's lower up, than that? You know what's lower than that is the people that watch him on Jimmernam, like Mark Glista's fat fucking ass. Who the fuck is that talking? This is Tyler Tyrone Buqua, motherfucker. Tyler Tyrone yeah. Buqua, ex hamster. Yeah, okay. What's up, Sings? What's good, man? Haven't talked to you in a while. I heard you during some of that shit trying to defend Jim Renan. He doesn't dox anyone. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it. Oh, Did you have – how hard were you trying to hold a straight face while saying that? I stand by. Listen, you know what? When you said I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in this, I thought you were going to defend him a little more than you did. I got news for you. I was listening that night. That was long before, like, you know, all this shit, but – he is not the one. This is the whole ironic thing about the whole situation is a cam girl is the one who put her fucking name out there. And then they come back like... Yeah, the, it, the, 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 you missed their point. You missed the cam girl's point to begin with. Mark, Jessica Jade's point was, why are you doing it now, months later, when it's all over? Yeah, but the whole point I have is, listen, it was a, another one of her fellow quote-unquote cam girls or sex workers that put her shit out there in the first place. Yeah, and yeah, now that Mark, they don't want Mark, to be on the show anymore. Mark, Mark, you missed Jessica Jade's point. And here's the problem. To get, I, I can't believe I'm going to give Tara credit. And why I got why you she... better not, man, because she's... And, why I, and I got why she took Jessica Jade's side. You're missing their point. And her point was... That was months ago. Why are you continuing to do it? And she even called Jim and Am um, immature. Their point isn't that. Their whole point is that was in the past, but he keeps doing it. Now, my point to them and the point I always made to them is, of course, he keeps doing it. He has nothing to talk about. And okay, so Mike, yeah, and that's, trust that's, me, that's trust me, I'm trust me. But trust me, what happened today was going to happen anyway. And it's going to happen again. Everyone on that quotations again show six months from now there'll be new people rotated out because he'll one night he's gonna trash this dude and make him leave then someone new will come in then that dude some other dude will get trapped because they got shit to talk about so they have to manufacture drama but their point was why do you keep bringing it up there's uh, three rules that apply to every social justice warrior every social justice warrior lies Every single one turns on you, and every single one always doubles down. And he's a social justice beta piece of garbage. Exactly. You double down during that? 
I, the fact that um, Tara and Jessica Jade's point was just going other pe- over people's heads was fucking astounding to me. Their whole po- they keep reiterating it. Um, whatever the doxing shit is, why are you doing it now? And you have to understand these people are in a community with each other. All these yeah, but Saints, Saints, hold, hold one second now. He's done quote unquote shows. I, I, you know, I don't know in the last month or two. But before that, he did shows with Tara sitting right there where he used her name, showed her pictures. Why did Tara decide to take this this fucking bold stand all of a sudden? Well, Tara is a two-faced piece of shit, but that's besides the point. <laughs> trust me. You trust, see, trust, Tara, um, Mark, so Tara Ma- Bull, which is what she is. Mark, I don't think you were in here when I said they were fine with everything he did before they attacked the cam chick. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, you know, I, you, you, I said we're on, that we're in the on beginning. The same page. Yeah, I said we're that in the, the beginning. Page. Trust me, I'm not absolving them. However, their point still does remain that he brought up out of nowhere. But my point always to them was that's what he's always going to do, and this is what it's always going to be. He has nothing well, like, to talk I, about, I so that like has this. to be his Mark, thing. Mark, Mark, if you'll listen to the beginning of the show, we all agree that women are terrible, and that includes every $2 cam whore in the greater tri state area. Now we're just seeing how much uh, fucking Zimmer Nam is a little bit. I know, dude. There were some statements during that. One dude was almost crying, saying, Me and my wife love you. Please don't go, Kim girls. I was like, Oh Whoa. my god, that Troy is fucking disgusting. I wanna wash his mouth out with soap. <laughs> you know he got he got beta cucked by his own fucking wife live one night. She came like busting in the room. Did you hear about this? No. Saints? Go on. Check this, out. this legit happened one night. So I guess they had some contest. I, 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 from what I understand, it was a contest. And he won a cam show, right? Yeah. So I guess his wife comes in the room and she's like, what the fuck are you doing on this computer? You piece of shit. This is my house. My money. <laughs> I'll throw you the, the, the fuck out of here. It was the funniest shit ever. Uh, Penelope is saying, what is the end purpose of doxing? A doxer puts addresses out. Well, no, it's not about that. It's all uh, just exposing someone's name. Like how he uh, doxed this chick again was, um, well, he exposed her birthday, obviously. And uh, he put her full name. And he was directing his audience towards that person. Now, he'll use. And I, I, would, add, I now, would add to that that every cam girl has a stalker. Yeah, of course they do. And um, the point is um, directing your audience to attack them. Now, he'll use the, ex- they'll use the excuse. Um, it's public. You know, it's out there in the public. Everybody's thing is out there in the public. Everyone's name is out there in the public. But if I, like, if I did um, a show tomorrow and put in the title, your real name, Stan Moon, and your birthday, well, that's me doxing you, so. But Jimmy Nam does dox people. What do we care? He called someone fucking mom and said, I'm glad the wrong son died. What are we talking about? Yeah, but say it's like, you made a good point. Like, you have to understand. Like, I, I think, like, when it comes to someone showing up at, their, at, at a person's door, like, okay, you do a show. I talk to you. I mean, how weird do you have to be as an individual to fucking... What do you think you're gonna like? What am I gonna cut? Like, what a, what weirdo would show up in Rhode Island like looking for you? Like, you gotta have a lot of things wrong before that happens. You have no. You had to initiate some behavior to get that to happen. You had to do something. Yeah, but like with these cam girls, these people that well, well, no, with, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about because Jim and Am's claim that someone, no one showed up at your house, dude. What are you talking about? No, but as far as the girls are concerned, like, well, yeah. I don't want to say it's two-faced because nobody should have to put up with that shit. But, like, if your job is to go out and entice mentally ill people to fall in love with you in some weird way online, and then you're shocked that if you deal with 200 people, one of them might try to figure out who you are, well, you're... Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I doubt it was any of Jimmer's names people who showed up. Yeah, they they... They're dealing with jobs anyway. 
I think a lot of this also has to do with, um, I think they figured out he's not, I hate to break this to the people, Jimmer Nam is not a YouTuber, dude. He doesn't have a thousand subs. That thing can say 1,700 subs all the way. He doesn't get a, th he does a six hour live stream and gets less than a thousand, he doesn't even get half of a thousand views. If I kept, list, if I kept this on, out, if I kept this on black, just a blank screen for six hours with a live stream, I would get at least a thousand views. When I delete this tomorrow morning, I'll have almost a thousand. Should be a thousand by he's not a real YouTuber. He's a bullshit nut, and I think it was starting to dawn on them. Because obviously, since no money is being exchanged, there were there have to be some understanding for these cam girls to go on his shit in the first place. So they were probably thinking, all right, he has Hans on his show, high pitch Eric. He does his, he must be involved with Howard Stern somehow. And now after a while built up, um, we're doing eight hour live streams and getting what that girls night out thing. I think their last one got 87 views. I think it dawned on him. This isn't a real YouTuber. Well, yeah, I mean, and the whole thing too is like, if your plan going into this as a 30 year old cam girl, even if you thought Jimmer Nam was going to be the next Howard Stern. And even if you thought Howard Stern might retire in, three four years that makes you a 34 year old cam girl with what exactly two years to make it you know it's a bad business well, Blister, Blister, why do you hate women it, it sounds like you hate these hoes why do you hate the hoes I don't hate them. I just think one in particular ruined that fucking show. Tara. You got bitches that are trying to go on the internet and show you their titties, and you're mad at that. You well, say, put those titties away. I don't want that. Well, I'll the, never be mad at anything that wants to show me their titties. Here's the, here's the thing, Mark. It wasn't Tara who killed the show. Well, she was 50 50. It was Jessica Jade who did it. However, Tara was the final word because she sided with the girls instead of him. Of course she did. That's where the money is. She admitted, I haven't, she said, I didn't get one dollar from doing eight hour live streams with this dude. Right, of course but not. Before that, she said that when um, Goddess Usako left the show, five people became her customers from the show. So she's always talking out of both sides of her mouth. No, she no, you can't be mad at Jessica J because her piranha teeth smell blood in the water. Hey, Fred listen, Jessica Jade's actually a pretty cool chick. Jessica Jade, I've always found to be nice. Awesome. Never had a problem with her. Never will I really problem. like Kitty. I really like that Kitty girl. Like she's game, dude. You can terrorize her. I don't her know. I don't, her know I, I, uh, I don't know nothing about these chicks. But all I'm saying is, uh, Tara became the ultimate because she sided with them. Of course, she never got a dot. No one. He did a six-hour live stream and got less than 500 views. That that first of all, I don't understand how that's pot. First of all, if you have 1,700 subs, that's not. He bought a thousand. So that's, the second he gets 2,000 subscribers, he'll really have 1,000. But he's not even close. He's not even really growing, dude. I think I'm getting well, I, I'm getting 100. I kind, of, I kind of agree with what you said, though, about, like, Jim and Am. He, he had, I think, a really good idea. He got fucked by SiriusXM, and now all of a sudden he's stuck with, like, this platform full of fucking people that are really sensitive. They want a safe place to go and chit chat, and he's got to sit there and be like a traffic cop. Dude, That's gotta suck. I I've seen it. He's sitting there, bored, hating what he, he's a Howard Stern geek dude who wants to just play, do his green screen, play the clip, stop it, talk about it. And I and when he was doing that, I kind of enjoyed what he was doing. So, um, oh, I agree. That's how I found him. And then, like, when he had started up the live streams, I would chat, I would joke with people, fuck around, and then people got sensitive as fuck. Dude, he doesn't want to do a shit. You think it, he wants to talk to these people? No. But he thinks that's what you have to do. But, like I said, he's not an ONA fan. If you're an ONA fan, he would have learned from me. You don't put, uh, especially no your chicks callers, on the thing. No phone callers and no holes. Listen, this is what happens. No, no, no. You, you can take phone calls. This is what happens when you fuck with the Ian Ellis LLC. Shit just starts falling apart, and tomorrow they don't know who you work. Now, is this the real <laughs> Ian? Wait, is this the real Ian Ellis? Are you like the it sounds intern? Like, it sounds like the actual. It actually sounds like the real Ian Ellis. Are you the I'm intern? Like, or the, I'm Tyler Tyrone Buqua, otherwise known as Ian Ellis number five. 
That actually sounds like the original Ian Ellis thing. It's like the guy on the no, YouTube think, video, I, the fat guy in the stool. I think one of his new guys does an impression of him really well. Just a CEO, a CFO, an intern. I don't fucking know what's going on with this dude. <laughs> CEO, BBB. He was like that. He looked like that Jared from Subway dude on the stool. This is who that sounds like. Thank you, Shy Lethal, for subscribing. Um. Hey, hey, motherfucker, I'm a sandwich artist. Now, you want to tell me what kind of art I'm going to make today? You want uh, half things or full long? Because I'm going to put the whole thing up your ass. Fight. So, um, Mark, since you're uh, you're our uh, Jimmer Nam in source, what goes forward? You know what? I really haven't, um, I like, I... I I have it on the background sometimes, but I haven't really like. You were just calling me a last night, nigga. Just, I don't care. Yeah, because I heard that shit. I heard that shit, and I wanted to defend the guy because he wasn't the fucking one. He wasn't the one that put her fucking name out there. He had her information forever. She talked shit to him forever. But he decided was, to make a show that was like this bitch's birthday. Yeah, Let's exactly. Bring it back. Yeah, Let's exactly. Bring it back up. And that was the yeah, cam girl's listen, point. That was the girls are saying. That was the girls are saying that because you're putting her name on there tonight. If some psycho wants to go find her, now he can't. If some psycho wanted to find her, her shit's already out there. But, but, she, I totally agree with you, Saints. They wanted to bail from the show. They didn't have a good enough reason for it. And the, the show is probably better off. Everybody's probably better off doing their own thing, if you wanted my opinion. But my opinion's worthless. Like, I, I don't, because I don't really know what goes on. But, but I think it also dawned on them that this person is on and it's going to turn on them, too. Because Tara said she was trying to bring some new girls to do it. And they said, fuck no, because we don't want to give him our information. Because I'm sure you're going to have to exchange, like, text or whatever to set up a show to this shit. What? Well, here, I guess now that I thought about it for a second, if you want my opinion on what the show needs going forward, number we one, don't. getting rid of that. Di- yeah, I don't, I don't really care to give it, but if you want, get rid of that discord because what happens is people are having one chat in discord, one chat on the air, one chat in the chat. And it's just like, there's people don't really know what the fuck's going on. Well, that's why I also feel bad for him. This dude is doing six hour live streams and he's leaving like halfway through him, by the way, uh, whatever, but my, wouldn't you? Well, I'm not doing fucking six hours. Fuck yeah. No, I'm man. saying, but if you, sit, <laughs> if you had to sit here for six hours, you'd fucking disappear. But you don't have to. Like, here's the thing. Um, there's a thing on this software we all use, you know, Streamlabs OBS. You can set a timer. You can set, you can set like, three hours, and your, shit automa- your live stream automatically shuts off. Like, he could do that, and it'd be smart for him to do that. Because, like I'm saying, you could have the greatest title ever, but if you're doing a seven-hour live stream... No one's going to watch it because they're going to be like, all right, I have to go through seven hours to get to the good part. So he's fucking himself that way. I, I think the other thing, too, what is piece like, of, Wait, is, wait, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You shut what the piece fuck of up, inter- you fat inter- fat Shut fat. up, you fat fucking piece of garbage. What piece of entertainment does anybody want to watch for seven hours? If Infinity Wars was seven hours, people would be walking out. Well, I saw her stand up. I wouldn't watch that shit for 20 minutes. Seven oh, hours. shit. Shots fired. We got someone from the DC camp. What's going on, Batman? I'm not sure what that means. Could you translate that into funny? That means your parents are dead. That means your parents are dead and you dress up like a bat and you fight crime, you little bitch. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You kind of went far for that. That made no sense. What are you talking about? That's a stretch. That's a stretch. Hey, Saints, I got to pop out of here, man. I'll check out the rest of your stream later. Take care, buddy. All right. Peace, Mark. But, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this nigga is doing, but it's a blessing in disguise. Watch other shit. Figure your shit out. So, um, let's see if I can find some of this shit. I think I'm going to find it. You can hear the words from their own mouths. Can we also hear Joe Booney's uh, Labor Day? Oh, uh, fuck you. The Joe Booney thing didn't happen. We need to move on, dude. No, no, I can see the link in your Discord uh, where he sings, where he's very patriotic for America. Yeah, um, you know when um, Andy Kaufman did his thing, he did his thing when he was kind of like, you know, a somebody. You know, I'm not Andy Kaufman, right? I'm Tyler Tyrone Buqua, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. number five. Fuck, don't tell me this dude. Nah, all right, he didn't. Ian Ellis LLC is another channel we have. Uh, Sands is on it a lot. Jammerdam is going to be coming up 
sometime this week making his debut on the ENLS LLC channel. Fuck, wait, do I gotta... Oh, why the fuck is it different on my thing than my stupid phone? I'm gonna just keep talking while you look for the link. Last night, Unbleached had a creative stream. Uh, he put really? out a disc record like Push Your Teeth against uh, Jammer Nation. Really? What are, you, what are you talking about? No, he didn't. <laughs> he's a rapper. He's for rapper the rapper. Is, is he? Dropping. Is he? Is that what he's doing? He's banging in these streets, man. Rappers are scared. He's not banging in these streets. He's banging in his armpit. Eminem quit That's last night because he's. <laughs> he ain't banging in shit. According to the radio report, he's uh, he's chat he's chatter banging Delilah six seven five or some shit. Oh, is he? I'm right, trying to fucking um, find this nigga's shit. All right, if he deleted it off of this, I know where to go to. But I'm gonna check it real quick. Um, does it come? Oh, stop going to my shit. All right, here we go. Shout out to Don A and all the reptilian Americans out there in podcast land. Can you not just Big. go to a nigga's channel? You got to fucking... All right. All right. Okay. Big up to the Grigster. Getting ready for World War. All right. Can I go to pass? Because they're not in order, so... All right. Wait. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I got it. I got this nigga shit. All right. I'm going to watch some of this. Some of this beef that happened on uh, Jimmer Scam shit. See some of that smoke. All right. Wait. Can I make this full screen? Did I run into this problem before where I cannot make this full screen? All right. Wait. Wait. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, fuck. I figured it out. Let me wait for this ad to play down. Put it on the yo. We know you can get it up. Try slapping the computer like you slapped that ass. <laughs> and we need clickbait doing his due diligence and sending you clips and shit. I know, right? I should have had just clips ready, motherfucker. What are you doing, fucking clickbait? What's going on? <laughs> All right. That's why you need a team, Kyle, like the Ian Ellis LLC, where we have CEOs, managers, and Ian Ellis is all ready to go. You know what the fuck I need to do? Stop letting this... Bitch, use this goddamn laptop. I'm signed out of everything. All right, wait. I found the show. Yeah, it's on Twitch. Okay. I mean, if she's got it open, let's go through her emails real quick. What's she been on? What's she doing? What's she doing on the internet? This bitch don't need Wi-Fi. I know. I'm about to fucking unbox this bitch when I get upstairs. Kick her in the face. Go, little bit more tight. Looking. I think we are right around here. All right. Yeah, it's much better. Like they don't understand the whole story, and they're like, yeah, I just don't want to take a chance. Because for yeah, them to first come in, that's their first impression. Well, look at what she tweeted, Tara. This is what she tweeted. You know, this is what Jessica tweeted on the screen. Oh no, it's not a birthday party. It's a dog. Oh no, it's party. not a birthday yeah, party. It's a, yeah, it was. It's a dog show and get over well, it. Why don't you say that to me in I mean, private? That's if that's how you feel. So why okay, so that's. Drama yeah. No, but you're saying like, okay, it, it it kind of like sways other people around. I mean, if that's who I am, I'm a doxer, I guess, then okay, then Jessica, you got to go, you know, then if you're not you are a doxer, that, what are you I would talking never about? go attack Jessica. Jessica has none. I, I'm, if anything, I'm, I'm very grateful for what she's done so far, you know? I'm very, very grateful. I'm grateful to you. I'm grateful even to Audrey, who's been here shorter than you have and Jessica, but still. You know, but if, if it's not your, because this is not everyone's cup of tea. This is like putting yourself out there. You know, if anything, I've showed a lot of respect to you guys as far as like your entrepreneurship and all that. But, you know, there's a line where it's like, dude, uh, you know, I'm putting myself out there and everybody who comes on air, they're going to put themselves out there eventually. People are going to get shit and that's it. Just get ready for it because... I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know how many We're not battles friends. I'm fighting not you know, constantly. Even within this group, I'm, I'm fighting, you know, battles. 
but I'm getting it from all angles, you know, and it's just, it, I don't know how else to explain it. It, look, if Jessica feels that way, I, sh I think she, look, I don't think I could even actually do a show anymore for her, you know, because I don't want to put her in any position that, that she doesn't feel comfortable in. Cause if you strongly feels like she's not what? comfortable. He can probably yeah, fit it to that little thing in the can, you know. He is can I ask that you, kind of race. Did you ever totally promote fine. Stream from his it. show ever help you? Or do you know of Jessica? He's I've reptilian. never made a dollar from <laughs> any kind of cam work period from the show. I will say that I was helped because... Um, did you know that 80% of lipstick uh, is made out of Asian scales? I will say that, yeah, there, those no. people definitely helped me. But as far as like, that, uh, work that. is concerned, no, this isn't like a free advertisement thing. The people, the group of people that come to this, they don't, they don't go to cam girls for shows. Like that's, it's not. So she's just really admitting here she makes like zero that, money so. fucking with this nigga. No worries. Of course not. And I don't know if I would even go as far as to call Goddess Usako a cam girl. Who she's is this guy? Psychotic. I can't she's tell this guy from any other guy. Different story. It's, it's a whole different genre of sex she's work. She's crazy period. as fucking hell. But that is, yeah. She's, she she's is an crazy. assaulter. She she's a fucking it. federal felon. I mean, for you, God's you know sake, her name's out there because she's fucking nuts. Yeah. It's crazy, like, Jessica, look, I'm not, I don't know. She didn't feel this way about Goddess before, but all of a sudden now, you know? She's not, okay uh, did she call someone's know. mom and say, I'm glad yeah, your okay. son's dead? Knows where she's my kids happy, live. Right? Your kids no, everybody fine. fucking knows where my kids live on Gonzo land over there and fucking Oh everywhere. my God, shut up about your Yet kids, dude. You don't, don't see your kids, you don't have to carry your kids. They're only nine You're using them as a human okay. shield. They're not in the sex industry, so they're I bet you, you put them out there. Keep it the fuck real. themselves. You he know, probably talks like about I'm the kids more on YouTube than he does on phone got, conversations you know, with his ex-wife. Right. He talks about his kids when he actually sees them. Like, what are you talking about? I don't care you know, about and, your and, kids. And, and, and today he does that, 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 that weird Steve Linkford thing. He says, so no, we're saying you're a bad father. We're not saying shit about your kids. You know, and I guarantee you, what is Jessica J going to pick? Her 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 child? Her child's safety or her own? Can I talk about our child's answer safety? that as about? a parent? Because I'm I'm in the same position as fucking Jessica. So I'm surprised. I'm shocked that she'd be okay with fucking minors having their fucking addresses. Am I sitting in? No, I'm about to uh, try and buy a ticket there. Podcast wars. It's right over here in Somerville, Boston. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we've... I'm sorry I'm yelling, but... I'm jinxing in things. I, I remember yelling the kitty. At you, but... uh, she thought, you know, when you replayed me... With her on the phone, remember that. You know he's not. He's doing some weird shit. Probably yeah, like you know, he might he be doing drugs. Show, I don't know. Maybe finally taking off his sunglasses for, for once Jessica in his life. Oh, he's doing something where was, you you're not allowed to see him. It's so weird. When I was screaming and hollering. He's probably going to take off his glasses and put on some lipstick and pretend to be his own cam girl. Because he showed a video at the gym. He was on the no, treadmill in the gym with sunglasses on. Didn't you think like, that she, she didn't doing? know that that was a recording? <laughs> yeah, it kind of seemed like that. This nigga think he's Cyclops think or something. Like his eyes will destroy like, the world. What? Because she goes, I, I monitor the chat. And she said right away, she goes, what the fuck is this? And I said, I said, Jessica, this is a recording from... Six months ago. All right, I think we're at. Um, she came right in right away. I might like, have to jump ahead point. Like, you know what video you never have to jump ahead on? Joe right. Boney. So, 150, shut 150 up. Shut up about, uh, shut up. I just, you know, I, I appreciate from everyone here. This is Jessica over. Jade ending it. Yeah. I think that's what I need to do. So they're not going to do a show tomorrow night? No. And uh, Kenny, thanks, Kenny. Kenny, oh my god. Look, Jessica, I appreciate everything that you've done, and all I can say is I have a lot of respect for you and love for you, and, and that's all I can say, you know? You know, if he oh, really yeah. wants to be like Stern, I think uh, Artie's looking for a job. I don't know where you change your mind on this because this is particular to one person and one person only. This is not about all people, all, all the people that are on this show. This is about one crazy bitch that threatened us all, that scared us all, 
that upset us all. And it's just out there now and there's nothing that can be done about that. I would really hope that you would reconsider your decision. Me too. But like I said, dude, I'll be a little protective here. You know, when you put yourself out in public like this, dude, think, expect this shit to happen because you're going to run into people that aren't going to like you, you know, when you do a show. Or do Not when you put yourself, yourself out in public. You're obviously and, uh, doing you know, shit to get Jessica shit brought position. back on you, You know, dude. I have a lot of respect for her. I really appreciate everything. Because you're nuts. She, she, she you call people's moms. You did that live, so she God knows what you're doing behind the scenes. opportunity to, to do that for everybody in, in, in the community so all i can say is i have love for you and respect for you and that that's all i can say so there's nothing bad more. i can I, say I about really you. you've so never much. been the enemy and you're still not so no it would have been know. a better move is if he tried you know, to get matt's been, mom to come on the know, show sure and then no, just like had enemies, extra toy man, taking her from, clothes off from way back <laughs> when, and i'm still <laughs> he turned around yeah maybe part of the fucking game i hope you're reconsider sir if that it's been great and and my wife even loves you, so you can't leave. Please, God, don't. Oh my God. Okay, That's when he said, "Please, God, don't." This chick stuff. Like, and I said, it, Grr. "The fuck are you talking about, like, dude?" We have to let this go for tonight because this is just. It's we just do. I think we're that was profound. Good conversation about each other. I don't know. So and then she was, hung up, oh and it's God. basically over. I'm done. All right. Christopher, you have anything to wait? So that was me having my fun. Um, yeah, no more Cam Horace. Who gives a fuck, to be honest with you? Like, like I, I'll say it again. The dude wasn't a real YouTuber to fucking begin with. Oh, it's whack. Oh, my shit fuck up because I brought up that shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, the dude's not a real YouTuber to begin with, so it doesn't matter. He'll do a 24-hour live stream and get less than 200 views. No one gives a fucking fuck. Those bitches did you um, a favor. They did you a fucking favor. So um, hopefully move like on. Then maybe you can do another 20-hour live stream and crack that magical 1,000-view number. Same. Let's, why, 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 let's make a again? bet. Bet let's about what? About will, his will his next show be him crying that he left everyone, or will it be him flipping out and like talking mad shit about all of them that he's been holding back? Well, he talks shit during that, so it's gonna be either or. You're gonna talk shit about them, or they're gonna talk shit about him, or they'll come back and then they'll get into another fight. They have nothing to talk about, so it's gonna be fights, bitching. This is what it could. These are losers who have nothing to talk about, so that they get to manufacture drama amongst each other. I mean, it's a Howard Stern based show, but you got nothing to talk about with Howard Stern, so it's whatever. I, how about this? I bet half the cam chick, since all of them left, I bet you half of them will be back within a month. Then they'll get into a fight and leave again. <laughs> it just is what it is. <laughs> 